So, I've been asked by a lot of you guys uh, about work and what I do here in Brazil. And I've been making these videos now for over a year and I've never really, in one video I kind of mentioned at the end what I was doing, but today I just wanted to focus on that and tell you guys about what my working life is like here in Brazil. So as of right now, I am teaching English full time. I've been, I should say I tutor English because I don't have like a degree in teaching or anything. I'm just doing online tutoring. Uh, I do it full time. I've done it since the August, the beginning of August of last year. So almost nine, yeah, almost nine months now. I've been teaching English and I actually started doing some voice over work as well. That's the reason for this, uh, for this microphone here. I got the voice over work actually through a student that I tutor. But anyway, that's what I'm doing now. I also just got paid for the first time on YouTube and thank you guys for that. That was, uh, that was really nice. It's after a year and two months of doing this channel. It was fun to see like uh, just a little reward from it. So I'm very grateful to all of the subscribers on the channel, all you guys leaving comments. It's, it's been great. So anyway, I'm going to walk you guys back to the beginning, like even before I got to Brazil. So I can give you hopefully some insight and maybe a little bit of uh, tips about what you should do if you are going to move to Brazil or any foreign country where you are not able to work or unable to speak the language like I was. So when I was back in Seattle and at first decided that I'm gonna move to Brazil, I'm gonna get this one-way ticket and go marry Sammy, I was finishing up uh, a flip that I was doing. I was in real estate and uh, I knew I was gonna make, make some money from it. So I was pretty confident when I got to Brazil, I'd be all right, at least for a little while. I had planned on the company I worked for, it's called EXP Realty. It's really cool, They you don't have to get like a new, um, renew your license in another, you can keep your license and it's good around the world. So I was going to try and go under the branch of EXP here in Brazil and maybe do like something with recruiting so that I could like segue into it because obviously I don't understand the laws and the rules of real estate here, but after I spent just a few months here in Brazil and the town that I lived in, I don't know what it was. I, I just felt like I did not want to do real estate anymore, or at least I wouldn't have been able to really do what I, anything like I was doing back in Washington. So I was like, wow, I need to, to find work. I need to have an income. So I, I tried a lot of different things from June of 2021. I had actually looked into writing books for like children's books, but as a way to make uh, like a business out of it so that you can sell them online. And if people buy them, uh, I make money constantly from that. But um, I actually created one, hired an illustrator and it didn't sell as well <laughs> as I thought. Friends and family got it. Um, it was a good experience and I will make more of uh, this series of books, but it wasn't something that I could end up, uh, yeah, doing full time at least then. So I was like, oh, I have this camera. I'm going to start filming and stuff. And it, I actually started using, I got this GoPro that I'm filming on right now, actually in June of 2021. And I was, didn't really know what I was going to do with it. I thought I might go swim with it or take it on some bike rides and stuff like I did in the beginning. And then I was like, Sammy actually was the one who told me, yeah, you should start this channel. Um, and start doing videos about like Brazil, what to know about Brazil, different things about life here for a foreigner, especially an American living here. So I started doing that and then, yeah, I just kind of expanded from there. So, um, even though that wasn't paying. That was just more recreational with the hope of, okay, one day if I grow this channel enough, I can make money from it. And that day has finally come. But yeah, that still wasn't a job at the time. So I had actually really started following like the stock market and cryptocurrency where I, I wasn't a complete idiot. I didn't throw all my money 
into Bitcoin or into one stock or anything. I had diversified a little bit and then had actually tried swing trading slash day trading. I was swing trading, at like just kind of like trying to pull money out when I had made money just to have since to replace the fact that I didn't have an income and it was, it was okay. And then I did not, you know, had some investments that didn't do so good. So, um, yeah, it was kind of a little bit nerve wracking for there for a while, but I will say it made me like when you're kind of faced in that situation where you're like, wow, I really need to make money now. Um, at first I was like, I just want to be explore the creative side. I want to do videos and I want to do this and that. And then I was like, okay, I, I just need to make money. So <laughs> when Sammy told me about the, I could teach English online and I was like, okay, I will do anything right now. I'd like, I, if it pays, I will do it. And I hadn't ever taught English before. This is like a, a couple months before Joanna is going to be born. So I was day trading, trying to making a little bit of money that way, but it was stressful and it was not very consistent. So I went on this website called Cambly and did a video. You have to submit a video talking about yourself and why you would be a good tutor. But like a day later, I got accepted and started teaching and pretty much right away, I got students. It's a really widely used platform. And you know, if one student likes you and gives you a good rating, you more students will come. So I've been teaching six, seven days a week for nine months. There's been a few weeks, like when Sammy's family was here, when my mom came, where I only taught a few days that week or didn't teach during the week of Sammy's family, but it's awesome. I mean, I will say it doesn't pay that well, which is why I'm switching to private lessons, but to start off and I know how to teach people English now from all over the world. I've had students from, I think over 40 countries and learned tons about cultures that I knew nothing, very little or nothing about. I teach right here in this chair and Joanna is a lot of the times right there. Sometimes she makes some noises and Sammy has to take her, but it's so, it's so cool. Cause like I would not be at home this often if we would have moved to the U back to the U S like I had originally planned like way back before I had even gotten to Brazil. And so I, I would probably be working at home a little, but I'd be driving around going and showing houses and working, you know, I worked all over the Puget sound. So I, it wasn't like I was working strictly in Kirkland or on the East side. I, I was driving around from the South sound all the way up to Orcas Island. So now it's, I walk from my bedroom to my kitchen and sometimes I miss driving around the Pacific Northwest, but yeah, that's that part. I, I, I can't, there's no price I can put on like being able to pick Joanna up in between classes and play with her. Uh, the voiceover work is really fun. I mean, I've always been interested in doing accents. Like I always, would try and do an Australian accent when I was little or do a German accent or do a Scottish accent. And I don't do like proper voice acting right now, but I've gotten two voiceover gigs. Among the thousands of worries of an event, videos don't have to be one. Our values are lights on the road ahead. It's really fun, you know? It's not like anything super serious right now, but it's something I never would have done. Like I never, would have bought this microphone probably if I if I was still in the U.S. I I, don't, I wouldn't be like pursuing voice acting or voiceover work. I wouldn't have this YouTube channel. I, I might have do some videos for real estate, but it wouldn't definitely wouldn't be uh, Tucker in Brazil. So all of these things like that kind of were like oh my goodness, what do I do? I didn't know. I would love to have had a job when I got here and had a consistent income. That would have been great, but. All of these things that came about from like not from just like I have to decide what I need to do or do what I need to do to provide for my family while 
obviously abroad here in Brazil have, it's made me like a better, I think a better person and uh, definitely have more broadened my horizons. Like, like I said, with the teaching at first, I was just like so ready to be done teaching. I thought I do not want to teach English anymore after if I don't have to, I mean, I'm still obviously open to finding other work, but now Sammy and I are creating courses. Like Sammy's working on creating English courses. She's an actual English teacher with a degree in teaching and has done it for like six years. I'm asking her for advice on how to teach students. My method is more focused on conversation and I guide them through the lessons, but it, I love it. So that's my life here in Brazil as a digital nomad. And I will try and kind of update as I go. I will leave a link in the description. I've had a few people ask me, I just had somebody today ask me about how I teach English online. And like as an American, I not just as an American, but I'd never heard of Cambly before. So Sammy mentioned it to me. And even though, like I said, I'm switching away from, I'm going to teach private lessons. It's great to have that started me in teaching. I wouldn't have just been comfortable teaching someone English back in August and charging, you know, a high rate or whatever, having no experience at all. So to build that experience, to be able to choose my schedule, to be able to work from home, can't put a price on that. So I'm super grateful for that. And I hope that this was helpful and informative for you guys. It sums up my working life here in Brazil. Um, if you're needing an English tutor, uh, I'm more than happy to take on new students and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.